Aliens, good morning. Look at that. Look at that. First thing I'm doing today, this morning, going out and getting parts. And then we have somebody coming to the house to give us a bid on upgrading our water heater. Our water heater's been making a couple of freaky noises lately. Uh, Lakewood is well water and it has a lot of mineral content in it. So much that probably about, I'd say once every three months, I think, they have to go and, and flush the lines. So they open up uh, the fire hydrants and they just let the water come out to flush the lines of minerals. That being said, uh, minerals still uh, uh, collect at the bottom of the water heater. And once that starts to happen, um, the bottom will start to boil because there's no water down there. It's just like, it, it helps it. I don't know what it does. I'm not a scientist or anything. It just boils, okay? And our water heater, oh gosh, what? Our water heater is from 1992, I think. Our water heater is like, we are living on borrowed time with this thing. So anyway, people are coming out to the house today to give us a, an estimate on an upgraded um, uh, on-demand water heater that would sit on our wall so we, we would also get additional space in that back mudroom. Oh, that'd be so wonderful. So anyway, that's happening today and um, I've got a job I'm headed out to get parts for right now. The fall air is crisp. I've got the heater on in the truck. It's beautiful outside and away we go. Leave it to me to forget why I originally started filming. So uh, the truck just turned 44,444 miles old. Um, I don't know why I always think that it's so neat when you get these uh, the sets of numbers. So obviously, you know, you've got all ones, all twos, all threes, all fours, five, six, seven, eight, nines. And then of course you get your, uh, um, your even miles, like, I don't know, 50,000, 100,000, when your vehicle turns 100,000, that's pretty special too. But I don't know why. I, it, every time I see stuff like this, I just have to film it because I think it's interesting. What is the last neat mileage that your vehicle uh, just got through turning? Or uh, how many, ooh, I wonder how many of you guys had the most amount of miles on your vehicle? That would be interesting. That's almost more interesting than that. How many miles do you guys have on your vehicles? What year, make, and model is it? And if you have kilometers, please do the math for us. We're gonna keep this in miles. Hey guys, the trash is coming. This is always fun. There you go, I'm gonna set you guys right there. A little while ago, Angie said that they were doing some uh, parachuting out here. And of course, oh, they are, they're doing it again. Look, they're dropping. There's one, there's two. Wow. I would never jump from a perfectly good helicopter or airplane, but that's kind of neat to see. Oh, there they go, they're dropping more. Using my phone this time so I can zoom in a little better. Looks like they already dropped them all. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Whee! I wonder when they jump if any of them say, yippee ki yay, mother. Huh. Looks like I saw 
spider on the screen. <laughs> so I can't see all of them, but there's at least one, two, three, four of them. Huh. Oh, that one seems to be just like major hang time. <laughs> Thank you for doing what you do to keep us safe. I appreciate it. I'm not sure I'd be able to do that. Well, here's your update 24 hours later. The mantises most likely have not mated, but they've also not eaten each other. We have kept them fed. Angie went out and got more flies today. The uh, female mantis back there, she ate 10 crickets, 10, 11, 12. 13 crickets? How many did she eat? Uh, 14. 14. That's a lot of crickets, and they were large crickets. They weren't the small ones. And she's making cookies and bebes. That's a bebe. That's a nice one. That's a whole wheat one. Oh, that's a nice one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so she's doing that, and I've uh, showered, and I mean, not like this is a smell of vlog or anything, <laughs> like you guys care, but. It does smell like bread and cookies. Paperwork, that's what I've been doing. Month end is done. Well, I was going to do COC. However, in order to do COC, I need to be able to see the comments. For some reason, we have some kind of uh, internet uh, connectivity, ooh, problems. Did it just? Connectivity, ooh, problems? Yes, connectivity, ooh. Ooh, problems. Did we just get connectivity back? Oh, oh, we did. Look at that. We can do COC now. Oh, okay. Are you doing it? Sure. <laughs> sure, don't sound too enthused. Well, I just had a shower, but I'm all covered up. Well, I, I know, that's why Angie just showered. So I, I wouldn't want to be, well, actually, I don't care. I was going to say, I wouldn't want to be in front of the camera if I had just showered. <laughs> well, I would hope you'd be wearing a robe. I didn't say I was going to do it naked. <laughs> First comment of the night. Mr. Broat. Are you, are you on your way? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, Trucker Josh. Oops, I mean, Vlogger Troy. <laughs> Video and sound are off after the intro. LOL, just saying. Still an awesome vlog. Crickets, ew. Um, that's actually a YouTube thing. That's not a my thing. If you were to go back and listen to it, I'm pretty sure it'd be okay. I don't have my chair. Oh no. oh no. Halloween fur. I think Michael's dad put Halloween away early this year to put Christmas out because I can't even sit here in my robe. <laughs> Why can't you sit here in your robe? There's all stuff in the way. Okay. There's Stefan in the way. Stefan's in the way. We're watching Vampire Diaries. That's the new... We haven't said that, have we? No. It's the new it's like show that we're just... It's like super cheesy drama. It's almost like Beverly Hills 90210 yeah. meets Vampires meets... But you know what? It's got supernatural creatures in it, so... Yeah, that's kind is of cool. what it is. Um, Where um, are we? Uh, we're right here with Halloween for about, uh, he, you wobble on your crutches yesterday, two of your local Michael, oh, you wobbled on crutches yesterday to two of your local Michaels to try and find something to do since, uh, you've been home. You're not supposed to be over walking on your foot. Don't worry. I did keep it up in the store. How, how'd you do that? I, I can just see you like one foot, like holding it up and I'm not that flexible, so... Well, wouldn't he just kind of hold it up? Yeah, you're supposed to keep it elevated, not just... Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's right. Well, I, at least I think you're supposed to keep it elevated. Maybe you're just not walking on it. Okay. And you also say, it's my birthday today. I'm 26. Well, Halloween happy for birthday! Derek. Happy birthday. That's awesome. I wish it was under different circumstances, though. I don't yeah. like just sitting home. <laughs> well, it's keeping you safe. <laughs> you can take a rain check so that you can almost have two birthdays. Ooh, two birthdays. <laughs> Joseph Blau, uh, the Wilmore Dam near where I grew up in Sidman, Pennsylvania, is failing. The residents are being evacuated. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. And you also say Cambria country or county. Uh, I'm one 
County up in Clearfield today. I am on high ground, but the place I get dialysis is right by a swamp. I just got out at 1145, and some days I get six, some days I get nine. I sleep in the days I don't go to dialysis. Man, I'm sure that takes a lot out of you. I would think it would, yeah. And and Joe, I know that you're you're pressing on, dude, but just keep keep doing your thing, man. I'm I'm proud of you because you're going through something that I've never gone through, so I'm I'm the type of person that I will never say, Oh, I know how you feel because oh that just whizzes me off when people say that. Oh, I know how you feel. It's like really? <laughs> anyway, keep doing your thing. You're awesome. Uh George Smith, those glow round things. Find it under beauty dish. Glow round things. Uh oh. What what was what, what, in the what, blog? Uh, I don't I don't know what I did yesterday. Glow round things. Did you say that? Glow round did I say that? What's a I, glow round thing? I, I don't know. Georgia <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's videos, you guys should consider getting that spooky town pumpkin tree house from Michaels for your display. When I have a place to set the mic, yeah, we the don't stuff. have anywhere to. It's put away safe and sound right now because yeah. we really don't have a nice big surface to put it. And um, I think that we're going to be saying, oh yeah, we are going to be touching on that. Oh, we got holy cow, we got a lot of comments to get through. Um, we'll we'll touch on stuff here in a second. Vlog soup. I think it'd be easier to do a ginger dead house during Halloween because one reason why I've never participated. It's honest. It's honestly, it's. Hard to find spooky stuff for yeah. gingerbread houses at Hall or Christmas time. You gotta be way too organized and buy it all in advance. And who does that? Me. Sometimes. Um, I'm so glad that I'm not the only full grown adult that rides shopping carts. Heck no, man. <laughs> that was fun. I rode it in the parking lot too. It's so smooth. It was so smooth. I just wanna go there and ride carts. Yeah. <laughs> she actually pushed me in the parking lot. It was great. And it, even that was smooth. Mm, it was so neat. Um, okay, look, when we come visit Angie, you and I get in a shopping cart, let the guys push us. We, <laughs> we have pool noodles. Let's just have a jousting match. Okay. We're... I normally get between five to seven hours of sleep broken up. Rarely ever sleep straight through. Some days I get up to nine hours, but again, broken up. Pool okay. noodle jousting it is. All right. That sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Uh, Jason Stiles, depending on my work schedule, I get five to seven hours of sleep. So far, Walmart has had the most Halloween stuff that I've seen now that September has begun, hoping to see more oh, out. And of no, course, that's another reason we have to go to Walmart. Oh, for the Halloween stuff? Yeah. And to see if they still have any Ghostbusters cereal. But we're not going to our regular one. No. Our regular one is janky. I'm not, I'm not yawning tonight. I'm about ready stop, to sneeze. Stop. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh let's see um um, um just i was got it uh fran royer angie sent you a message hi troy not for, not to forget you thanks <laughs> i got sending, the message <laughs> sending lots of love your way thanks mm, fran hugs hugs uh trip 27 consider yourself lucky amazon didn't have chocolate covered crickets available Ooh, no. uh, thank you amazon well if we ever get any todd then we're gonna save them till you come over <laughs> and you can do it with us <laughs> Trip 27, uh, also taught again. Uh, dude, you went to Target and you didn't go check out their toy selection for Ghostbusters toys? Well, I'm not going to get any. Because, and this is what I, was, I said that we'd get to it here in a second about stuff. We are trying to downsize. Before, it was just me. So I had, like, kind of more room for, like, stuff. A little bit. But... but, also, when you go and you store stuff, storing stuff doesn't do you any good. So... I, I I don't know. I I've I, I don't want to say that I've become a minimalist. It's just I really learned to part with things because it just cre it just builds up and it just keeps building up and then you start storing all this stuff. Yeah. And I in fact, like in the kitchen when I put everything into the kitchen, we had two kitchens to merge into one, so that was hard to do at first. It was kind of fun at times because it was like we have two of these. Which do we like better? So we kind of kept the best of everything, but. Now we've been in there for a while, and it's like, Buffy. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, <laughs> and it's like, I'm not using this. I should get rid of it. So I'm at the stage again where I need to go through all of the, the stuff. cupboards and stuff, and just purge out the stuff that we don't use. Like, why keep it if you're not going to use it? Yeah, that's a very good know. point. 
at least somebody else can use it or it can be repurposed or recycled or there is the odd time though that you get rid of something and then you're like oh. <laughs> yeah yeah uh van nile nsx great vlog thank you joe poppenhagen four hour stops have to do a breathing treatment due to copd that's why i'm a night owl oh. and um yeah you you get broken sleep yes i do huh just out of curiosity, what does your Fitbit say for last night? Um, I don't know. My phone's not here. Oh, no. I'll look later and I can let you know. Okay. Well, last night for me, 5 hours, 12 minutes, which is not enough. It, it, it isn't. If you want to be healthy, you should be getting 8 hours of sleep, especially if you have Alzheimer's in the family or dementia. Just all around. You should, have, if you can, get on a schedule, but... Exercise helps too if you can't sleep. Yeah, I, I don't find... think that back in, when you were in Canada, I don't think that you you knew exactly how much. Some days are more than others, but how much I like literally run around. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> We'd okay. always do those fit pit competitions, and I'd be like, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I, I I literally, I mean, because when you're working on a car, you're up to get a tool, up to get a tool, up to get a tool, over here, over here, over here, run to get parts. And, of course, I drive to the parts place. I don't walk there because that would be, like, a lot of steps and a lot of waste of time. But when I do get there, it's like I don't park right next to the, the parts door. I park, park in the, way back. Well, I park in the same place that I park when we yeah. go. I park in the middle of the parking lot just to get more steps, just to stay healthier, just to... You know, I when my burn mom, the cookies and the and the snacks that I yeah. eat at night. <laughs> when my mom came out for Christmas that one year when you met her. Yeah. And you were pacing around back and forth. We were all taking turns trying to hold the baby so that we could get more steps. Mm -hmm. And my mom had commented, she was watching you walk around. And she's like, he doesn't stop moving, does he? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> nope, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I find it very difficult to sit down and veg out or sit down and relax for any amount of time because I always feel like I have to be doing something. But you don't. It's all no, about I balance. No, I don't. It is. It is about balance. But, you know, you can't balance if you're sitting on your duff. This is true. Ah, oh, see? See what I did there? Got to balance on this your two feet. This was supposed to be about getting sleep. If you do get exercise in a day, and it doesn't even have to, you don't have to run up. God, there's like, there's, um. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to run a marathon, but no. just getting up and walking around, you'll sleep better. Our bodies are made to move, even if they hurt when we do it. <laughs> so today was a normal day. Uh, 15 flights of stairs, 6.22 miles, 14,371 steps. I burned 3,455 calories, and I had 152 active minutes. That's when my heart is... Kind well, when your heart there. rate is elevated and you're moving, 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 moving for over 10 minutes at a time nonstop. Right. I think that's when it starts to record that, right? I believe so. Yeah. So, yeah. My, um... 43 pounds lost, 14 left to go. My lack of deep sleep is just because of hot flashes at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to getting older as a female yeah. menopause. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> something to look forward to for your you youngsters out there. Anyway, that's it. I hope you couldn't hear that on the vlog. My stomach just made some outrageous noises right now. Okay, that's it. We're getting crazy here at night. It's snack time. It's uh, ooh, snack time. Yeah, it's ooh. Do we have cookies as snacks? I I only made six. That's enough. That'd be a good snack. Um, right. You um, don't get to eat six cookies. Uh, I only made six. <laughs> you have to share them. Oh, well, of course. And I want to eat one with my coffee in the morning. Oh, well, then we'll find something else to snack so on. So you can have three <sighs> cookies and you can do whatever you want with them. Oh, okay. How's that? Usually when something like this happens, I will scarf mine down like... Like, if you guys have ever watched Spongebob and, like, Patrick, one time they were out at, at the campfire and they both have a candy bar and Patrick is like, Ooh, candy bar! And he eats a candy bar and then he, he looks at, at Spongebob who hasn't eaten his yet and he's like, You took my candy bar! <laughs> anyway, okay. Happy haunting. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye!